come to this section. In this section, we learn how to represent a irrational number on the number line. Take an example. Represent the irrational number root 2 on the number line. To do this, consider a unit square OABC. Since it is a unit square, we have OA equal to 1, AB equal to 1, BC equal to 1, CI equal to 1. Join O and B, which is a diagonal. Since O, A, B is a right angle triangle, by applying the Pythagoras theorem to this right angle triangle, we get O, B, o B, which is equal to root 2. Now, take a real line L. Now, fix this uh, unit square on the real line such that this O is coincide with uh, 0. Now, this O A equal to 1. This is B. Now, this A B equal to 1. This is C. Now, this B C equal to 1. And uh, O C equal to 1. This diagonal O B equal to root 2. Now, by taking O as center and O B equal to root 2 as radius, draw an arc. which intersects the real line at uh, P. P shows the number root 2. Now, to locate another irrational number root 3 on this real line, draw a perpendicular which is a unit perpendicular BD to OB. Now, join OD. Now this BD equal to 1 and this OB equal to root 2. By applying Pythagoras theorem to the right angle triangle OBD we get OD is equal to root 3. This is obtained as follows. Since by Pythagoras theorem we have OD square is equal to OB square plus BD square. Here, OB equal to root 2, that is root 2 square plus BD equal to 1, 1 square, which is equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. Therefore, OD is equal to root 3. Now, this by taking O as center and this OD, which is equal to root 3, as radius, draw another arc. also intersects the real line at the point Q. Now Q shows the value root 3. In this manner we can locate infinite number of irrational numbers on the real line. I hope you can understood.